I am Buba Jami, head of German Girl ECD Center. <coughs> we had a networking school in an urban area by the name Sibek or Silo Bilingual Education Center. This link or the networking was initiated by an expert from America named Rudin Poo. But here in the Gambia, we call her Auntie Nene or Nene Gale. She is the one who initiated the relationship with our school and Sibek. So it was about three years ago now when this networking was established. So normally it's an education, educational visit. We find the visits very, very educative because that area is an urban area and here is a rural area. So you can see the differences. Most of our children are not exposed to urban areas. And the urban children also are not exposed to our rural area here. So that's why when we visit each other, it's, it's always very educative and very beneficial to both the children and the staffs. Normally when the exchange visit is taking place, we, know, we wrote to each other that we are coming to your school for this particular day. So when it is suitable, to the administrator of that school, they let us know and they acknowledge our going to their school. So when we go there, they normally see the children into various classes according to their age group, their age relevance. So with their facilitators, those children will be mingling with our children. They will be teaching their children and our children all together. Their teachers will teach and our teachers also will teach. So you see Tori that we learn from each other. And mostly the children find it very, very interesting because most of the children in their school are not used to our school areas here. Because their schools are well furnished, their schools are very advanced, they have story buildings in their schools there, and all child, you cannot even see the sun in their schools. So our children love that very much. So when they also come here with their children, they see our local materials that we use to teach our children with because most of our educational materials which we call learning aids are prepared here by our own teachers because we don't have the means to purchase this western teaching aids so that's why they like to emulate how we operate here and their classroom situation also is quite different with us because their classrooms are limited to 15 children with two facilitators taking care of those 15 children while here at our level we have about 45 to 50 children in a class, and one facilitator is responsible of these children. So therefore, definitely, they find it very, very interesting. Likewise, we also find it very, very interesting with their methods of teaching and our, also, and our method of teaching also, because you can see the differences. Hence, they depend on Western learning aids. Here, in our level, we depend on our local resources that we, all pre we prepare by our own hands. But in their classes, you find videos there. You find cassette players. You have, they have computer rooms, com computer lab rooms. Here, we don't have those ones. Though we have our dream corner, which they also find it very, very interesting. In this dream corner, we also take our children there, maybe each class by class. There, they have a lot of toys in that room. So you divide them into various groups. Then they'll be brainstorming in that dream corner. So then you'll be circulating them, maybe at a given time, a group goes to a, a particular section of that dream corner at a time. So they will all have access to the dream corners. And also, we have also a drum here, a local drum. We, we sing and dance with them also when they come. So it's very, very interesting. Though their school is more advanced than ours, because they have all kind of sponsorship. And they have very strong financial support also. So the children also, they are very, very pleased to have friends. They make friends among themselves. And Sibek also, they are helping us a lot because they come and donate rice to the school, which we give to the children, all right? They help us in the feeding program of our children, and also they give out their, some of their second-hand furnitures for the classrooms. And they also collect second-hand clothes and shoes that they send to our children here. We distribute it among our children. So it's very, very useful. We also as human beings, when our mangoes are also ripe, we harvest them then and send it to them. 
ASEAN. Matter of appreciation, whatever they are doing for us. So that's what I have. Thank you very much. I am Bubakar Jami.